All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today we are going to be breaking down the upcoming Extreme Z Awakenings for the Int LR Prime Battle Super Saiyan Vegeta, as well as the STR Ultimate Gohan. So without further ado, let's jump right into it, starting here with the Prime Battle LR first. Leader skill before the Extreme Z Awakening is Pure Saiyan's Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 70%, 12 key super, colossal damage, 18 key super, greatly raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage, and passive is attack plus 15,000, defense plus 20,000, plus an additional attack plus 15,000, and launches two additional attacks for four turns after receiving an attack. So that was the Vegeta currently without the Extreme Z Awakening. Now jumping over to the EZA details, his new leader skill will be Pure Saiyan's Category Key plus 4, HP Attack and Defense plus 130%, which, in my opinion, for a free-to-play unit, is really, really good. If you guys don't have the SSBE Vegeta or the uh, STR Super Vegeta, then this guy's not a bad option at all for a Pure Saiyan's lead, right? And uh, his 12 key super is raises Attack and Defense for one turn and causes Class of Damage, 18 Q Super greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. And his passive is going to be attack plus 50% and defense plus 70%. Plus an additional defense plus 70% when HP is 50% or more. Q plus 1 with each attack performed up to 5 plus an additional attack plus 50% and launches 2 additional attacks. Each of which has a rare chance which is a... 15% chance of becoming a super attack for four turns after receiving an attack. Okay, so that is the EZA for the Prime Battle Vegeta. And in my opinion, on paper right now, he looks good. He looks very good, actually. So I don't have too many complaints about it. I think just in my mind, he would have been even better. Maybe my expectations were a little bit too high, but... Like I said, solid, solid easy A definitely makes him usable now for any team that you need a Super Saiyan Vegeta on, like Pure Saiyans, Vegeta's Family, and so on and so forth. But uh, he doesn't really blow me away, which I was kind of expecting, you know? So maybe that's my fault. Maybe my expectations were just too high for him. But I think he's going to put up some big numbers. His defense should be quite good. His damage should be quite good as well, especially because he can launch up to, in theory, up to four supers in a turn. It's not going to happen too often. Maybe you'll get like two to three supers here and there, but once again, in theory, if you get really lucky, he could launch up to four supers in a turn, right? And I do like the fact that he gets key on his passive because he was struggling with getting that 18 key super before. And um, aside from that... Uh, there's not too much more to say about it. Um, maybe once we see the unit in action in game, he'll impress me more. But on paper right now, he seems good. He seems good. But I do feel like he could have been even better. Anyways, um, that's the Int Vegeta. Let's move on to the SDR Ultimate Gohan. So before the EZA, Leader skill, Hybrid Saiyans category key plus 3, HP and defense plus 170%, and attack plus 130%. And if I remember correctly, this guy was the first unit in the game that actually provided a 170% boost for any stat, right? Obviously, 130% attack is not great, but the fact that he gave 170% to HP and defense, I think at the time was huge because I don't think we had any other units in the game that did that when he came out. I could be wrong, let me know in the comments if I'm misremembering, but um, I think that was the case. Anyways, uh, super attack raises attack and causes immense damage, and this of course can be stacked infinitely, so in longer events he does get a lot more uh, offensive power. And then passive is attack plus 120%, medium chance to guard all attacks, which was a 30% chance, which is like, not that good and defense plus 50% for all allies 
or rather, sorry, uh, all super class, super class allies. And then with the Extreme Z Awakening, a new leader skill is Hybrid Saiyans Category Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 170%, which is solid. And then Super Attack greatly raises attack, greatly raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage. So now he's greatly raising attack every single turn. Before it was just regular raising, which is 30%. Now greatly raising is 50% with every super. And then you're greatly raising defense for one turn and uh, immense damage. And then passive is attack and defense plus 158%. Super class allies defense plus 50%. And entrusted will category super class allies key plus 2 and attack plus 30%. Now I know the entrusted will category is not like the most popular category in the game, but providing key plus 2 and attack plus 30%, defense plus 50% to entrusted will super class allies is uh, an amazing support passive, right? And then high chance to guard all attacks, 50%, guard all attacks and launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack for four turns when guard is activated. Okay, so essentially after you activate guard, which is a 50% chance, unless you have type advantage, of course, then four turns from there, you get guaranteed guard and you launch the additional attack that has a 50% chance of becoming a super attack. So um, that is the STR Ultimate Gohan. Of course, let me take a quick look at his stats. So before the EZA, he was getting up to 15,370 HP, 17,116 attack, and 9,645 defense at rainbow status. After the EZA, he gets up to 18,107 HP, 20,000. 20,209 attack and 10,977 defense. That attack stat is insane. Over 20k. That's a lot. That's a lot. Okay. So, um, my overall impressions, initial impressions of this Ultimate Gohan is that um, he is going to be really good defensively. I don't love the fact, honestly, that his guard is not guaranteed because. I just think it should have been, <laughs> you know, I hate the fact that you have to basically hope that the guard activates when you put certain units like this one in front of a bunch of attacks or in front of a, you know, really powerful enemy, right? Like, if the guard doesn't activate, then a super attack might just destroy you. Um, whereas if the guard does activate, then you're fine, right? So I don't love the RNG aspect. I think guaranteed guard would have been great, but at the very least, he does get the guaranteed guard after you guard once first, so I guess it's a bit of a compromise, but guaranteed guard would have been better. Aside from that though, uh, once he does get the guard uh, with the raising of defense on his super attack, with his um, you know support here, he's getting 158% defense here, so he should be really tanky with the guard activated. And uh, his damage initially won't be the best, but but in longer events, once you've stacked up a couple times, since you're raising by 50% every single super, um, he should hit quite hard later on in long events. And uh, the additional super attack, or the at least high chance for the additional super, should help a lot as well with his damage output. So it's uh, quite a good easy A2. I think kind of like the uh, Super Vegeta, I was maybe expecting a little bit more, but they're both good easy A's overall. Maybe not the best EZAs we've seen, but you can't expect every EZA to be the best EZA you've seen, right? So this one is um, kind of like upper mid tier in my opinion. Not to say he's mid. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say he's mid. I'm just saying like he's not top top, but he's like somewhere in between like the middle to the top. So essentially, yeah, he's very good, but maybe just could have been a bit better. But just like the Super Vegeta, or rather the uh, Prime Battle Super Saiyan Vegeta, I do need to see him in action to uh, form a proper opinion. So obviously right now, I'm just going off of what I see on paper, and on paper, they both are solid, but they both don't really blow me away. And that's totally fine, right? Like I said, not every new Extreme Z Awakening has to be the best Extreme Z Awakening in the game. 
and uh, these guys definitely aren't the best EZAs I've seen, but they're not bad by any means. So there you have it, guys. That is going to be today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.